Okay, fish friends. I thought last week was rough. Um, take a look at that. I mean, now that the sun's gone, it's, it's pretty cold. So you won't see me fishing with a jacket all much, but you see me today. Wish me luck. Got him, got him, got him, got him. And I do got a red belly. Look at there. I ain't gonna catch these on that big bass hook. That's the red breasted sunfish. Whoop, I'm getting one over there. See, and he just spits it out. This is a red breasted sunfish. I've got a Florida State certificate for catching one over 10 inches. That's a big one of those. See you later, buddy. Thank you. I got one, I got one, I got one. I got one, look what I got, look what I got. Big old speck. Look at that speck. Look at that speck. Look at that speck. Yes. People talk about catching crappies and specks, buddy. That's bad weather. They're known for biting in bad weather. Look at that. I was just reeling and all of a sudden I had him. Every bit of that camera. He ain't no joke now. This is a big crappy. Crappy speck, I don't know. I just keep switching it in and out. When I grew up, we, crappy was a bad word, so we weren't allowed to say it. So we called them speck. Speckled perch is what they are. And he is a strong one. He is a good one. Man, that is a beautiful fish. Look at that thing. Cold weather. Thank you, Lord. I come out here. Come out here trying in the wind. So that's my second speckled perch out of here on that. And that is a Trocar underspin with a Reactive Innovation Sungill is what it's called. I couldn't think of it the last time. Sungill is the color. But that is a, that might be a pound speck. I had to weigh him just for fun. I don't think he's gonna weigh a pound. 13, 14, 13, 14, 13. I don't think it's 1.3 pounds. But tell me that ain't a beautiful fish. Look at that. Just working that underspin. Yeah, that's right. You don't like fishing with a bobber. Been doing it since I was, oh, as long as I can remember. The thrill when, the, if you see the bite. It's not my preferred method, but I'll take it. If I can get a fish like this. Don't play with him. Don't play with him. Don't play with him. What have I got? What have I got? I got a bass. <laughs> I got a bass. I got a bass. Look at there. Just explaining about how much fun it is. Fish just like your little boy. And look at there. Mr. Bass. All right. Working on a little variety today. I came here and I was catching catfish for the dinner table. I'd, I'd be using shrimp and I'd have a bunch of catfish, but you won't catch bass doing that. Um, I've caught two bass on shrimp in my whole life and I've spent a lot of time with a pole with shrimp in my hands. I got something big, finally. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Rounding off the day, Kiloa. Finally, finally, yes, 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 yes. Oh, finally, I've got one to bite that little hook. Oh man, look at there. Okay, that's a good one. And I think this is just what you would call flathead or a mud cat. Not real sure. Um, it's not a brown bullhead. I think the spotted one I caught last week was a yellow or brown bullhead. Thank you, sir. Finally got some excitement on my little pole. Go. Oh. Man, I looked over and I was tight and I sort of didn't do the old ding, ding, drop it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed that. That's me out here making the best out of a bad day. 
a little bit of sun right here but i've just been straight in the wind um was able to catch the one speckled perch there on the on the lure that was nice um and was able to catch brim catfish and bass on the live worms so that's a little bit of species there well-rounded little bag had a good time hope you enjoy it keep fishing okay i just went to just reel this one in to go home and look look at this baby I just went to reel this one in this was after my outro yes 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 oh yeah oh that's a big one that's a big one <laughs> look how fat that one is all right all right i, I feel my outro and then i went to, i said well gotta reel this one in and look how i got him i don't it's not he's not he's not even hooked look i don't know if you can see that but i'm gonna leave the best pocket knife out here there's the hook something's got i can't explain it it's a mud cat because these are not channel cats like we catch in the river these are just swamp cats mud cats i think some of you'll call them flatheads but i really don't know if they're flathead go you're breaking my back kid go that lake must be full of them well how come i always seem like i'm leaving when they're biting <laughs>